Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lint, and the first developer preview of Android P came out recently. We've been playing with it for the last few days to see what changes we can expect to see when it's finally out officially. It's worth noting, and I can't emphasize this enough, this is a very early developer preview, which means lots can change between now and eventual release. It has in previous years, and it probably will this year. So don't be surprised if some of this stuff isn't in the final version. It seems with every new release of Android, Google rejigs the notifications somewhat. This time out, the notification cards have been redesigned. They now have rounded corners, with notifications from different apps separated by a thin line. They'll also support smart replies, although we haven't been able to get that working just yet. Like the notifications, both the quick tiles drop-down panel and the main settings menu have been refreshed. Settings is simple and colourful now, while the quick settings are better spaced out. Like it or not, notches are going to be the trend in 2018, and Google is making sure its software caters for it. In the developer options for Android P, you'll see a few choices of display style, including three cutout styles each with a different sized cutout. Now on the home screen, the new Pixel launcher has a slightly redesigned dock, which now has a translucent window behind the five docked icons. It also displays a vanishing slim bar when you're switching between home screens. As for the always on display, that now has a battery level indicator at the bottom permanently. One thing we noticed right away was the new volume and music controls. We press the volume button and a repositioned pop-up tab appears with the volume slider, but more crucially a media output switcher. With this you can connect to and disconnect from Bluetooth devices. You can also quickly toggle between vibrate, mute and ring modes. Now while you can take a screenshot as normal pressing and holding the power and volume down keys, there's now a new method. Press and hold the power key and tap screenshot. Once the screenshot is taken, you can tap edit to launch a new markup function where you can crop it, draw or write on it. Of course, there's a new Easter egg. Now, normally Google takes quite some time to develop the new Easter egg, but there's one right here in the first preview. And I'm pretty sure it's designed to hypnotize you or make you vomit, possibly both. Anyhow, there are a few other minor changes, but I'll be bringing you more on that as the software develops. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on all the important social media networks. Don't forget to check out pocketlint.com for more coverage of Android P, subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up. I'll see you again soon.